Hi! As we all know, UAE is full of rich people, and most of them live in Dubai. Sometimes these indecently rich individuals do things that a simple man doesn't understand. He wouldn't even think of such things. In other words, Dubai is a dream city that has so much money that people living in it don't know how to spend it. Today you'll learn about 7 weird things that you'll only see in Dubai. We usually use air conditioner during summertime when it's hot outside. The weather in Dubai is very hot all the year round. That's why air conditioners are a necessity in Emirates. They have them everywhere, even in the street. Bus stops are equipped with air conditioning for God's sake. You can even get free Wi-Fi at the bus stop in Dubai. Pretty cool, huh? Greyhound racing, horse racing, even cockroach racing isn't exactly something extraordinary these days. But what about robot jockey camel racing? It's a pretty unique show, and most importantly, it's safe. Camels aren't exactly polite animals, you know. Any excuse and they will throw you off their backs. Often people were seriously injured after such events. These days, robot jockeys are a lot more popular, and they cost quite a lot of money too. It'll be about five to six thousand dollars for one jockey. It's supposed to control the robot with a distant control interface. Robot sets the direction and even whips the camel. And that's how humans slowly but surely becoming obsolete. I hope they won't replace football players with robots. Although let's be fair, some teams could use a few. You know how often couples walk on the street holding hands and kissing? Well, you can rarely see that in Dubai. Because it's actually against the law to demonstrate your feelings publicly. You can't kiss when there are people around. They can put you in jail for that. Not for long, but still. That's pretty savage. I guess if you're lucky, you'll just be deported. Now, as we started talking about relationship, it's worth mentioning that women in Emirates have much less rights than men. There were cases when female tourists came to Dubai claiming that they were raped and they only were sent to prison. That's pretty bizarre. Golden bars and vending machines. Now, we usually buy chips, chocolate or drinks from these things. Obviously, all of that you can find in Dubai too. But some vending machines sell golden bars. If you happen to have a couple of thousand dirham, then you can easily buy a bit of gold. On the other hand, if you don't have any money at all and you're starving, there are special shelves with free food in most city supermarkets. The highest tennis court in the world is in Dubai. It's on the top of the Burj Al Arab building. On its helipad, to be more precise, 321 meters up there. The first people who played there were Andre Agassi and Roger Federer. I wouldn't say it's too comfy, but it sure gives players emotions. This court was once a place for golf, too, not to mention the Formula One drift. People who live in big cities know about traffic jams. But have you guys ever been in a traffic jam in Dubai? It's pretty different from what you're used to. Imagine a row of coolest cars ever. Now add a thousand more to that row. All of those are supercars, and all of that in the middle of the road. Even the traffic jam doesn't seem all that bad anymore, huh? And if you're tired, you can just leave on a chopper like that. There was one guy who spent tons of money to create a kind of super jeep. The car was made out of two SUVs. It takes quite a bit of room on the road. It's got six wheels, four of which are where they're supposed to be. And there are two more in the middle. They maintain the wide frame loaded with the weight of two engines. Unfortunately, nobody knows any details about this massive construction. Nobody knows its weight or fuel consumption of this monster. Since we started mentioning cars, we should mention the local police that serves the city on their marvelous cars. Bentley, Ferrari, Lamborghini, and there's more. Police vehicles in Dubai are exceptional, and there's nothing like it. It's the collection of the fastest, luxurious, world-famous cars. The idea belongs to Mohammed bin Rashid Maktamu. The guy must be loving fancy cars. As you probably deducted, many people in Emirates live the life of luxury. Did you know that the government is actually paying for medical services and education? 
Moreover, they've got great jobs with fine salary and absolutely no taxes. That's impressive. So what was the most peculiar thing, guys? Leave your thoughts in the comments, press the like button, and have fun. We'll see you in Dubai. I mean, in the next episode. Goodbye.